Michael De Maria from the National Hurricane Center, live from Miami now. This is Mark De Maria with your 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time update from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Irma. Uh, the latest on Hurricane Irma as of 11 o'clock this morning is that the maximum winds remain at 130 miles per hour, making it a, a continuing to be a dangerous Category 4 hurricane. It's now located about 80 miles south southeast of Naples and is moving on to the north at about 9 miles per hour. Uh, it passed over uh, Cujo Key early this morning about 9, 9 10 a.m. and uh, impacted a large area of the lower keys and continues to uh, impact uh, that area as well as the middle keys and upper keys. Uh, it continues its uh, northward approach to the Naples area as well as to the uh, 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 Captiva and as well as up the coast. And we're also seeing significant impacts uh, in Miami Dade County and into Broward. Many reports of hurricane force gusts in, in both of those counties as well as Collier and spreading into Lee County at this time. Looking now at our track forecast, uh, this, this will be updated at 11, but it's, it's essentially unchanged from uh, the previous forecast, maybe a tad to the right. Uh, we're expecting the system to move up the uh, west coast of Florida with very significant impacts there. And we've got hurricane warnings up for essentially all of Florida, except the very western panhandle, and with, with uh, watches uh, up the coast to Georgia as well as uh, South Carolina. Uh, the timing, South Florida is going to be continue to be under the gun for the rest of today and a little bit into tonight. And then we'll see those impacts spreading into the, into the Tampa area tonight and into tomorrow morning and then continue, con continuing up the coast and eventually into Georgia, South Carolina area. Um, our main concern right now is a storm surge. We're still expecting values of 10 to 15 feet of, of life-threatening storm surge from Captiva area down to Cape Sable. Uh, with values six to eight feet in the in the Tampa area, and we're going to see the, that area deteriorating very rapidly. So, uh, at this at this point, um, these conditions will be uh, coming on that area in the next couple of hours. Uh, we're also seeing some uh, storm surge in uh, Miami and to the south. Uh, the high tide is expected around uh, uh, noon today, and with the high winds coming on the uh, uh, on the front of uh, Hurricane Irma. Uh, we're already seeing values uh, up to three to four feet, and that may continue for the next hour or so. So the east coast of Florida is also a possible storm surge threat. Uh, and then further up the coast as, as the system uh, uh, progresses to the north. So again, uh, Irma is a very dangerous uh, Category 4 hurricane with significant impacts from storm surge, wind, uh, rainfall, uh, as well as the tornado threat. We've got a tornado watch for pretty much from Orlando southward uh, over the South Florida area. Uh, this is Mark DeMaria with your 11 a.m. update. Thank you. Mark DeMaria, thanks very much.